everyone, welcome to Vlogmas part 2. I've just got home from work, it's Sunday night, it's about 5 o'clock and um, as I was actually walking home I noticed that quite a few people have their Christmas lights up so we're going to go for a little drive, um, kind of around town, maybe outside it a little bit and see if we can find any good ones. <laughs> My grandma's birthday today and we're gonna go take a little drive go around the seaside but it's such a sunny day I feel a bit out of place in my winter coat my parents house and we're gonna have some dinner and give my grandma her presents and just have a bit of family time I think it's quite nice to be back here actually I don't come around that often even though I live about five minutes away from my mum and dad's house and I'm actually in the spare room at the moment because my old room got turned into my brother's bedroom about 10 minutes after I actually moved out so this is my little space now <laughs> healthy pineapple and unhealthy advent chocolate. I've just noticed we've got our first presents under the tree. Someone's been sneaky and put those under there but I've just seen this too to be open on Christmas day. I can't handle things like this. It's far too tempting. Vlogging is not always so glamorous behind the scenes. I have my camera on my tripod balanced on a table <laughs> trying to photograph these bits on my next video. So I'm in the middle of editing next week's video and I've got a nice candle burning in the background and I've decided it's time for a snack and I've got this really fancy looking salad from Marks and Spencers, it's a, um, is it quinoa or quinoa? I'm not too sure. Um, Adamami soybean salad with soy and ginger dressing, very yummy. And I also have a naked guy, I love these things, I haven't tried this flavour, it's very delight. Uh, so that's my lunchtime snack. This tastes amazing. I'm actually just on my way to work. It's about one o'clock now, I think, so I'm running a little bit late, but that's just me as usual. I'm actually working until nine o'clock tonight, so that's a little bit rubbish. And I haven't really worn the appropriate footwear because my feet are now soaked. I think it's been raining. I'm just chatting away to the camera and two people look at me like I'm absolutely crazy. So I'm finally home and I'm in my pyjamas and I have a really big massive bowl of yummy pasta to eat now, which is, you know, the best thing to eat after a long day at work. It's so dull and gloomy outside today, it just makes me want to get tucked up in bed and go to sleep. 
So my Christmas bedding is officially on and I thought it's the 13th today, so is that 11 or 12 days to go till Christmas? Which, you know, doesn't seem too long, so it's allowed. Um, but this is actually a really nice diva I got from Primark last year. I went back this year to find some more actually and they don't do them anymore, I don't think, or they were just out of stock. But it's really furry, it's kind of like felt, something like that. Um, but just nice and cosy and warm to snuggle up into. So I'm just having a bit of a blogging morning, catching up on some tweets and social media type things. I've just put this post up, and um, this is the photo from it, which is called Up In My Skincare Game. I'm just kind of like a chatty post about introducing new things into my skincare regime, that type of thing. I just got this magazine through the door, Stylist, and how amazing is this makeup on Ellie Goulding? I love this. It makes you want to crack out a blue eyeshadow. I don't think I even own a blue eyeshadow, but it just looks so nice, and these sorts of stars and things. I think there's a full picture in here too. Look at that, makes me feel so, so Christmassy. And there's also a picture of her painted silver as well. So I've just finished a post on my favorite kind of December red lip and nail products. And if you're wondering why there's blue tack here, whenever I photograph things like lipsticks, they always tend to like roll around. Um, so I blue tack them down, but then that ends up with me finding blue tack on pretty much every makeup item that I own. So that's just beauty blogger problems. So Darren's just popped out for a few hours and I thought this would be the perfect time to start wrapping my Christmas presents because usually I would have them wrapped and done by the 1st of December but I've been a bit like behind this month, I've been a bit lazy I guess, um, so yeah, I'm going to start doing them now. So I've got pretty much everything here in this sparkly little Christmas box which I've been keeping secret and I won't show you inside because it will probably ruin the surprise for a few people um, but I've gone with a kind of red Christmassy theme um, this year with string so we'll see how that turns out. wrapping and that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. I definitely picked the wrong paper. This stuff is just so glittery. I don't know if you can see it on my hand but it was just impossible to stick the sellotape down and oh it just took forever. Or should I say afternoon? It's now about one o'clock on a Saturday. I've just woken up, which is terrible. I'm so lazy when it comes to Saturday mornings. Um, but Darren's just gone out, he's gone to help his grandma put up her Christmas tree and a few lights and things. And then we're actually gonna go out for lunch later, I think, and do a bit of Christmas shopping. So I'm just getting ready for that. I just quickly wanted to show you this eyeshadow combination that I wanted today. I really like it. It's um, the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze, which I've had for so long and I, I never really use. Um, and then this colour from the Naked palette, this is the first Naked palette, um, which is smog, it's kind of like a bronze brown colour and I saw um, Estee of Essie Button post about these on her blog and it just looked like a really pretty combination. Um, yeah so that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today, I don't know if you can see that very well in this camera. How excited though is everybody for the Naked 3 palette? I didn't buy the second one um, and I wasn't really interested in the 3 when I saw it but for some reason it's just taken hold of me and I really really want one. Um, yeah and I think it's out this week so people are getting hold of it around about now so uh, if anybody's watching this, hint hint. I'm just going to open my advent calendar before we leave and what is the date today? I think it's the 14th. We'll go with the 14th, which is this one. I still have lipstick swatches on my hand from yesterday. They will not come off. That's the Topshop um, Velveteen Ribbon and the Sleek Matte Mage. Just shows you how long they actually last. Um, but anyway, what's in here? Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Lotion. That looks nice. Darren told me it'd be really cold outside, so I wore a thick coat and a jumper, which is actually really sunny. What was that? Leviosa. It's, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Leviosa. Leviosa.
just got back and it felt like we left really late because it was so dark and um, it was only about four o'clock so obviously winter is really set in now um, but if anybody was interested we went to Winchester which is just the prettiest little town especially at Christmas there's so many lights and festive things and all the buildings are so pretty Winchester's a city oh, city Darren just told me Winchester's a city I didn't know that it has a cathedral so I did do a little bit of shopping, I only bought two things, but I'll show you what I got. So I actually remembered I bought one more thing, so I bought three things. Um, but I got these first, these were in Primark, they're kind of like leggings slash pyjamas I guess. Um, they're really festive, they've got Santa and snowflakes on, but I keep buying festive things, but I'm only going to be able to wear them for the next like few weeks, so I should probably start doing that. And then I bought my favourite Christmas film, I already have this on DVD, but I thought I'd pick up the Blu-ray because it was on offer. But if you haven't seen this, The Holiday, you need to watch it, it's the best Christmas film ever. And then last of all, I got this, which is the Dior Creme de Rose which is a lip balm and um, if you kind of watch my videos quite a lot you should know that I really wanted to get the By Terry Balm de Rose which is a very similar product but it's about £40 um, so I didn't buy that one but I saw this and I tried the kind of texture of it out and the consistency is very very similar let me open it up and show you just a really kind of glossy moisturizing pink balm with a slight tint to it it's nothing too much um, but it's just the cutest little packaging I've never actually bought anything from Dior before um, so yeah that's my little purchase of the day so Darren's just gone out to the pub and left me on my own on a Saturday night which is brilliant so I might just pop on my pyjamas get a bit cozy maybe have a bath I think the X Factor finals on tonight so I might watch that I don't even know what's going on anymore I usually get obsessed with it and watch it all the time but this year's been a bit boring so yeah I might pop that on and then I've got to edit this vlog together and that will be my evening I think I'm probably going to end this here because I'm not going to be doing anything exciting for the rest of the night and I will see you all in part 3 of Vlogmas which will be up next week bye